I feel like I've been on a world tour. I just, I'm envisioning, maybe not an entire shelf, but a decent section. And I didn't realize that until I hand cut 20 of these little stickers. So I'm just sat in front of my computer, going through my air table, trying to figure out exactly which Penguin Modern Classics that I wanted for my shelf, which you can't really see behind me. Um, I just, I'm envisioning um, a, maybe not an entire shelf, but a decent section of those Penguin Modern Classic books. I just love, I love, I love, love, love the covers so, so much. Um, and I specifically went through already um, many, many, many pages. Um, looking and finding ones that would work for my reading around the world challenge. So I'm gonna go through and try, try to figure out which ones that I put on here. I think I wanted one that doesn't actually count for my reading around, around the world challenge, but that's, um, Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. The Pearl That Broke Its Shell was one that somebody recommended to me for Afghanistan. Um, Woodcutters or Six Stories for Austria, woodcutter. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I had to figure out what the heck was going on. So I am now just on Amazon, but like the UK version, specifically so that I can get the Penguin Modern Classic editions because they're not really popping up for me on like normal American Amazon. Anything with a green check mark means it's subscriber recommended. So, or not necessarily a subscriber, but somebody who has commented on my channel. So my order has been placed. I ended up going with Amazon. I opened an eBay tab to see if it would be cheaper to buy them all thrifted and it was not. Um, even though I'm buying them all new instead of used, which I prefer to buy used. In fact, a lot of what's back there is used, like thrifted from eBay. I think I put two Camu in there. I couldn't decide between The Outsider and The Plague. So um, I went ahead and got both of them. So six books coming from England. That's very exciting. I'm kind of pulling out the camera a little bit late, but I've actually just been writing for maybe the past 
maybe the past hour or so. I am just trying to make today a boring writing day because I've been kind of discombobulated. I feel like I've been on a world tour. I did not realize that packing so much travel, which I'm very like blessed and thankful for, but packing so much travel into one month <laughs> um, means I only really have like one week out of June to chill at home. Um, I am currently in the process of writing chapter four. I'm nearly at the end actually. Um, I just printed off chapter three. So I'm keeping like up here at my little file folder. Um, I'm keeping the, the manuscript. It's tiny right now. It's just a little baby. Um, because I'm, you know, only like three chapters in. So I just printed chapter three, realized I was fairly close to finishing chapter four. Um, so I'm going to try to finish that and print it. And then I think I might take a little bit of a break. Um, maybe make a coffee. I've been pretty good with my water this morning. So I might make myself like an iced coffee when I finish this, print it, um, and then maybe do some journaling. I kind of want to buy a Cricut. In my books that I'm reading for my Reading Around the World Challenge, I made this cute little sticker, right? That shows the country and the date that I finished reading the book. I think it's cute, but it doesn't actually say Reading Around the World. And I didn't realize that until I hand cut 20 of these little stickers. So I kind of want to redo them already. So anyway, I'm thinking the little Cricut Joy, the little baby mini one, that's like the cheapest one. Um, I could easily print and have cut a whole bunch more stickers because I need to eventually print and cut 195 of them. And I've only done 20, so I have 175 more to go. Something I didn't mention that might be kind of fun is I'm thinking about taking a like a writing course, writing workshop type situation. I've done things like that before, but they've always been like not necessarily focused on the thing that you are writing, like your own manuscript. It's always been like, you know, writing tips and random writing prompts and like little tricks and things from whatever writer might be hosting it. but. I've never done one that really focuses solely on the work that I'm doing. Um, even in college, you know, like I, I have a BA in English Lit. I still thought that there would be like time to work on my own stuff. And there really wasn't because you end up doing homework and doing other writing assignments. And I just need something that's going to give me the accountability that I need. Because that's my big problem is like the discipline of like sitting down and getting stuff done. Anyway. That's a thought. She's strong. I keep telling myself I'm gonna give up caffeine. It hasn't happened yet. We're gonna switch gears and do something still very creative. I wanna print a few more things to go in my writing journal for this work in progress that I'm currently working on um, because I have some characters that I've developed a little bit um, that I didn't have pages for previously. Oh, 
So I'm just going to go through my Pinterest board. I also love this. I would love if in the future, if this book ever gets published, art like this is so cool. This is from um, the Atlas Six. There's so much stuff in this book too that I don't even understand. Um, like concepts that I really want to include that I don't even fully, yeah, I don't even fully understand them myself. So that should be really, really interesting. Now I'm on Art Breeder because I was searching for more inspo pictures of this character um, who's kind of like a jock Neanderthal-esque <laughs> like Serbian guy. Thank you. 